Next question. The thing that I do want is, and you do too, is I want to see him a little bit more with Luka Doncic and because they do play well together, but then you have to ask the question of, okay, well, why don't we see them play together to, you know, uh, way more than what they do? Well, then who's going to, they can't play together 48 minutes. All no. right. So who's going to be on the floor whenever they're off the floor? So here, here's my answer, I think. So one of my other problems I, th- I mentioned was not enough of Dinwiddie. Right now, when Luca plays on the floor with Christian Wood, they have 124.2 offensive rating. That's amazing. That's two points better right. than Boston, best in the league. Like that's it's an incredible offense. Their defensive rating when they play together, when Luca and Wood play together, it's in 500 possessions. Decent sample size at this point in the season. 114.7 defensive rating. That's bad. That'd be 23rd in the league. That's Orlando and Houston. <laughs> that's their def- that's literally their defensive yeah. rating right now. So it, it's not been good. But their offense is amazing. Without with, with Luke on the floor without Christian Wood, they've just been an average team, right? So like th- having the dynamicism of Luca with Christian Wood makes them a dy- dynamic team that makes their defense a little bit worse, but their offense a lot better. When Luca when, when Christian Wood plays without Luca, it's about 300 possessions. So smaller sample size. This one's a little bit more muddy. Their offense has been awful. And their defense has been amazing, which is weird <laughs> because you have you cover up. You, know, you don't have two like subpar defenders. You just have Christian Wood. Uh, and what I've come to conclude <laughs> with with all this and with just watching all these games is that Dinwiddie and Wood just don't work together, right? There's just not a, there's not a connection there that takes them from two good scores on their own to an amazing duo or like a re- even a good duo or a fine duo, right? They just don't work. How many times have we seen? Spencer Dinwiddie run a pick and roll with Christian Wood and not hit Wood on the roll where you're just watching and you're like, okay, from my vantage point, there should have been a pass there. He just didn't get it, didn't hit it, or he tried and turned it over. Or when he did try to hit Wood, it was like he throws it over to him in the corner and he posts up from like 20 feet away. That just doesn't work that we've talked about over and over again, right? And so I think the answer is it's you got to put Luca with Wood more and then play Dinwiddie by himself. That answers the question of, all right, you, you got to – Put some juice in the offense. That's Luca and Wood together. And then you've got to have more from Dinwiddie. And that's play him without Christian Wood and without Luca. And that, that gives you a little bit more of that. Because Dinwiddie can get his shot by himself better than what Christian Wood can do by himself. <laughs> right, at yeah. And so th- that's where you adapt by the talent and the players you have instead of the players adapted to your system. Because yes. if you do that, then you're moving away from having that second ball handler with Luca. You got to play your personnel. Yeah. That you, you liked a lot with Brunson. You liked a lot, you know, with Dinwiddie some last year. So if you do that, then you're kind of abandoning it and saying, all right, well, Luca, you're going to be the only ball handler in these lineups. But I agree with you. If Christian Wood starts, it's not a conversation for me about Christian Wood starting over Reggie or starting over, whoever's going to play the five, Dwight Powell or something like that. I think if Christian Wood starts, I think it would be a Spencer Dinwiddie move it to the bench for yeah. that reason. Because then you have to have, you have three main offensive guys on your team and Luca Dinwiddie and Christian Wood. Then you got to at least have one of these guys that's going to play by themselves. And if those, you list those offense numbers of Christian Wood without Luca, then yeah, maybe that is the switch up you make. You switch up Wood and Dinwiddie and say, all right, Dinwiddie, could you cook with the second unit type of thing? Um, yeah, maybe. Luka, I, don't, I don't know what the right answer to that is. I'm 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 cool either way. The Luca dinwiddie wood trio has only played 146 possessions together. Like that, That's not enough for me to know anything, but their offense has been god-awful and their defense has been terrible <laughs> With when, those, when that lineup has been on the floor so far. They just haven't figured out how to play together. And it's really muddy because there's a bunch of just different games and different samples with those three. Yeah. But I think I think that's part of your answer. But part of your answer would also fundamentally change what this team has been, right? The let's focus yes. on defense. We want to be a defensive first team. Playing Luka and Christian Wood together a lot does not make you fundamentally a great defensive team, right? It just doesn't. Yeah, it, and it changes so who – and, and you, it changes – away from what you were saying of like who you've been yeah. because then you have to kind of embrace we're not going to be good on defense and we're not going to have the second ball handler next to Luca because of the roster construction because you don't have another guy if you had Brunson still on the team then it 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 changes so much because yeah. then it's like all right we can still keep the second ball handler and we can put Christian Wood in there so yeah it does change up 
kind of your identity if you make that change. But I would much rather bet on the defense it working together and improving from that when you know what I talked about with Luca and Wood on the floor together. It's been av- it's been average. Twenty third in the league basically is what their defensive rating would be. I'm betting on that getting a little better than somehow magically the offense when Luca is not on the floor getting magically you know getting magically better yeah. uh, than that or or the 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 lineups with Luca without Christian Wood getting magically better in some way. So there you go. That's.